we need to stop calling bullying bullying we need to start calling it what it is which is abuse maybe then people will start taking it a bit more seriously in terms of prevention all right the word bullying dismisses minimizes and ignores the detrimental impact and effect it can have on one's psyche their self-esteem and their ability to function now i'm going to be going into more depth about that in today's mental health and makeup monday but i'm also going to give you some tips on how to navigate dealing with an abusive person so stick around don't miss it okay cool Let's get to it, shall we? Side note, I'm a little out of practice as I've been trying to incorporate a bit more self-care so not to burn out. And I also didn't practice this look, so be kind, all right? But as I said at the beginning of this video, bullying needs to be referred to what it actually is, which is abuse. I have spent a lot of time with teachers, parents, don't take it as seriously when it's labeled bullying. So saying things like, oh, kids are mean, everybody experiences bullying, no, all right, stop that. Because when you minimize someone's pain and their experience, they begin to doubt themselves and their reality. They also begin to blame themselves for what's going on. They believe it's only their perception and they're blowing things out of proportion, which can create a whole set of problems. So first things first, stop doing that. Also, you gotta stop telling people to kill them with kindness. Why might that be? Well. Essentially, you're conditioning a person to people please and tolerate behavior that shouldn't be tolerated. All right, so no, we're not gonna kill them with kindness, but I'm gonna get to what you can do later on, so stick around, don't miss it, all right? We need to identify, recognize, and acknowledge a person's pain that is being abused so that we can advocate for them. We cannot advocate for them if we're just dismissing what's going on or if we're doing this whole zero tolerance policy and doing nothing about it. And you also need to acknowledge this for yourself if you're going through this and advocate for yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there's a lot of great programs out there with the best intentions of trying to address this, but we got to get real, man. We got to call it what it is. I know I'm being repetitive here, but you know, just trying to drive the point home. All right. So what are some tactics that abusers use? Social isolation spreading rumors, condemning other people who want to associate with them. And this is across the board with abuse. In abusive relationships, that's typically the number one thing that happens first is isolation. You don't have anybody else around you to give you any kind of objectivity about what you're going through. And if you don't have anybody around you telling you that it's not okay, you begin to accept it as something that just happens. Another tactic that is often used is coercion or threats which we're all pretty much aware of because we see it in like movies and TV and whatnot. So that can look like threatening future harm, physical harm, convincing that person to do something illegal so they can maintain some kind of power over that person. They might also threaten to try to get them in trouble in some way with friends, family, loved ones, teachers, all things. Another obvious one is humiliation calling you names, making fun of you in front of friends or in public. They might target your race, religion, etc. Another obvious sign is the use of technology, texting, messaging, social media, pretending to be someone else to get private information and then sharing it with the public. Pretty nasty stuff. Okay. Economic abuse which is a pretty popular one we see in movies and TV where people are like, give me your lunch money, all things. Another one is minimizing, shifting blame and not taking responsibility for their actions. So when it's called out, it was your fault, you started it. If he hadn't have done this, I wouldn't have done that, etc. Very much mirroring what we see in abusers in relationships, all right? This is why we need to stop calling it bullying, all right? Take it seriously, okay? If we don't, we run the risk of somehow reinforcing the idea that bullying is less severe than abuse. It has lasting, long-term harmful effects that resemble someone who has been in an abusive relationship, which I think I already said. I'm the biggest fan of all you until you love me, Papa, paparazzi. I'm singing that song because unless you've been living under a rock, we all know that Lady Gaga experienced bullying when she was younger. So that's the reason why I started singing that. Anyway, moving on. So if you're being abused in the workplace or school or otherwise, first things first, you gotta understand it is not your fault. You are not to blame for how someone else is treating you. 
there is something internally going on with that person which causes them to behave that way. I'm not making excuses for them because they need to work on that stuff. I'm just telling you that so you can remember that it's not about you. There's nothing you've done to deserve that kind of treatment. And then now the next thing I'm going to encourage you to do, tell someone what's happening. Try to connect with other people that have experienced the same thing as well. This can be a very validating experience for you. And people who have been victims need that validation so that they can begin to heal. Because like I said, all the mind games really leave you off kilter. And you may not know what's up from down. You know, you got all the self-blame happening, the self-doubt, the low self-esteem, all the things. So talk to other people that have been through it. Talk to a counselor, either in school or out of school. Someone you can trust, someone you can confide in, someone that you feel like would advocate for you. Now, the next thing I'm going to encourage you to remember is that you can't reason with an unreasonable person. So don't waste your time trying to do that. All right. The other one to think about, which can be really hard to do because it creates a lot of anger, frustration, powerlessness, is not to act on it and not to reflect back to that person how they're treating you because that's just going to create more shame within yourself. You're going to feel bad about yourself and then you're going to probably allow the bullying to continue because like, oh yeah, I did the thing so I'm an asshole too. So I guess I deserve it. All things. All right. So don't do that. You can learn to assert yourself without sinking down to their level. So say for instance, someone's calling you names, picking on you in some aspect. You can turn around and say no. No is a complete sentence. All right, sometimes that might throw them off, but if they continue, you might try something like, don't you have something better to do? I know I do. Okay, this has been fun. Thanks, see you later. That could throw them off. In that example, you're not being ugly or mean or sink sinking down to their level. You're just stating a fact, all right? I got better things to do, and I'm sure you do too. So, it's been fun. Now let's say that you go to a teacher, friend, counselor, and you're not getting the help that you think that you need. Please don't get discouraged. Look outside of that. There are websites, there are counselors outside of school to give you some tools and resources to help you navigate through this, okay? So don't give up because you're worth it. Which brings me to my next point is knowing your worth and value. It's really easy to lose sight of that when we're being abused. We think we deserve it in some way or there's something wrong with us. So you gotta build up your sense of self-worth and recognize that you are a human being and you deserve to be treated as such, None, no less. No matter where you come from, no matter what you look like, no matter how you dress, race, religion, all right, you're a human being. And because of that, you are valuable, all right? Also, I'm gonna encourage you to try to find things that empower you, like a self-defense class. I'm not encouraging you to pick a fight or fight back physically, but having self-defense experience can empower you to feel stronger and to feel capable. And if you exude that, you're less likely to be a target. But most of all, realize that you are loved and that you are cared about and try to take your power back. So if you feel like you're at the end of your rope and you wanna put an end to it all and you're thinking of harming yourself because of this stuff, don't give them that power, all right? Don't let that person rob the rest of the world of what you have to offer and the beauty that you can share with the rest of us, okay? Okay, moving on. So if you have tried all things, write a letter, send an email, copy it to someone else. Indicate in that letter all of the things that you've tried and this is still happening. Raise hell basically until someone can step in to help you through this. Now, if you are a friend of a bully, if you see this kind of nonsense and you see what's going on, you are guilty by association because you know it's not right. In some capacity, they have some kind of power and control over you. You gotta take it back by stepping out of the situation and getting real about what's happening. And that's another thing abusers will do. Use other people to abuse others. So don't be a part of that, okay? You're better than that, all right? Now, parents and teachers, if they come to you, you need to take it seriously. No ifs, ands, or buts. Don't question it, don't doubt it. Listen to them, hold space for them. Investigate accordingly. Study up, observe, play detective. Mm -hmm. And also keep in mind that just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening because there is covert abuse. And if you don't know what that is, educate yourself on it because that is insidious and it really breaks people down. Okay, so we need to educate kids. Everybody needs to be educated on what abuse looks like because it sneaks up on you. And if you're not taught differently, you accept it. And because of that, you develop anxiety, depression, and even PTSD can develop as a result of 
being abused. All right. So take it seriously is all I'm saying. I'm your biggest fan. All with you until you love me. Papa, Papa, Barty. Also, I want to speak to the parents real quick. If your son or daughter or someone you care about is being accused of being the abuser, listen. We don't want to perpetuate a cycle of dismissal, minimizing, and blame because it's essentially just allowing it to continue. You got to be honest with yourself about who your child is and get them help. I know most parents want to believe the best about their kids, and it might be true, but if you're hearing things over and over again, or if these concerns are being brought to your attention, work on it, do something about it. Get that person help, all right? Take a good long look at maybe how you're contributing to that behavior. I know it might be hard, but you got to do it. I would hope that you're not proud of having a bully, all right? And if you are, you got some serious work to do. Just saying. Not exactly what I was going for. I saw this really cute thing on Pinterest. And let's just face it, I don't think Pinterest is real. I think it's all a lie. Now I have a few more things for you. And I'm also gonna be trying my lashes again. If you saw my last video, hopefully it'll go better this time than it went last time. Anyway, stay put, all right? We have reached 268 subscribers at the time that I'm filming this video, so yay. And then welcome aboard, so glad to have you. Also, join us on Discord. We've got a lot of peer support there. If you're struggling, we wanna make sure you're not alone because you're not. And there are people out there that care, even if people around you don't seem to, I promise. And I don't make promises lightly, okay? People care, right then. Moving on, lashes, here we go. I'm your biggest fan, honey, until you love me, ha ha. Paparazzi. So another thing I'm gonna leave you with, and I'm not gonna guarantee this works, but it could, and it might be worth a shot, but only do it if you feel safe and only do it with someone nearby. If you do decide to respond to a bully and you're just frustrated, you're having a difficult time ignoring it that day, and you just have to rope's end, let's say they're calling you names, make fun of you, talk about your mom, or whatever the case may be. Just in general being abusive. Turn to them, look them directly in the eye, in all seriousness, flatness, no expression whatsoever, and say, are you okay? And then walk away. I'm not guaranteeing that this will work, but it's certainly worth a shot. But I would encourage you only to do it if you feel safe. So all said and done, if this is still happening to you on a daily basis, and you've tried all the things, don't give up, talk to other people, we're here for you. We believe you and perhaps we might be able to help you in some way. So just don't give up, that's my point. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna finish this up. Don't get anywhere, stay put, okay? Cool, right then. So here we are, final look. Do you like the lips? Hmm? Overall look, love it, hate it, let me know. I hope you got something out of this video if you're going through this. Please know that you can get through this, you can become empowered, you can break free from it, all right? It's gonna take some work and it's gonna take some support, but you can, okay? So don't forget that. And we're here for you and remember you're loved, okay? Right then, I'll see you soon.